How's it going everyone, Hero Gaming, and today we're playing Bloons Tower Defense 6. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to beat Scrapyard on hard, so let's jump right into it. Perfect. The first thing you want to do is you want to focus on these choke points. So you have this point right here or this point right here. It's up to you which one you want to take advantage of. I want to get started right here. Perfect. And then I want to go for sharp and quick shots. Let's get started. Perfect. Now what you want to do is get very quick shots so you can, you know, take care of those. And then what we want to do is stop upgrading here and we're going to wait for a sniper. Perfect. So we're going to post our sniper right around here. And then we're going to wait for Full Metal Jacket. Now that we have Full Metal Jacket, let's switch this guy to Strong. And then we're going to wait for the Night Vision Goggles. Perfect. Let's get the Night Vision Goggles and we're going to stop that right there. Now the next thing you want to do is drop your hero. In this one I'm using this guy, so we're going to drop him right around here. And finally, we're going to drop our ninja monkey up here. And then we're going to focus on upgrading our ninja monkey fully. Let's go discipline, so we're going to go with uh, 402. Seeking shuriken. And then we're just going to focus on these upgrades. Until we get to balloon jitsu and then we're good to go. Perfect, now we're going to get Bloom Jitsu and we're going to stop upgrading after this. Perfect, now what we want to do is we want to go back to our Dart Monkey, we want to go for Razor Sharp, and then we're going to focus here. Perfect, triple shots, and then if you want to go for Super Monkey Fan Club, you can, I don't typically recommend it. Now let's focus on our Sniper again. Perfect, so we've waited a bit, now we can get Shrapnel Shot and we can get Large Caliber, and then the next upgrade you want to do is Bouncing Bullet. Perfect, now let's get Bouncing Bullet, let's wait for Supply Drop. Actually, instead of waiting for a Supply Drop, what you want to do first is drop your first Druid right here. And then you want to focus on upgrading this middle path until you get this Druid of the Jungle, and then upgrade the upper ones. Now what this will do is it'll make it physically impossible for the Balloons to pass this straight line. Perfect, so let's use this ability right now. Let's get Supply Drop, let's wait for that one, and let's get more Druids. So what you're gonna do is keep getting more Druids, drop them around this guy right here, cause he'll upgrade them, and then keep going for that same path of upgrades. Perfect, now that we have Jungle's Bounty for both Druids, what we wanna do is focus on getting another uh, Ninja Monkey. There we go, we're gonna go this time through this path and stick to the top. So we're gonna go for a 2-4 ninja now. So now let's get Bloom Sabotage. Now this is an important one to keep using. Perfect, now that we've gotten to this point, what you wanna do is just keep stacking up as many druids as you can within range of this guy. So we're gonna set down another druid right here. We're going to give him these same upgrades, and then make sure you get Jungle's Bounty. So now that you've gotten to this point, let's keep collecting that money. You have the DFBs, let's plant us another treat. Look, it takes them up. And now these will be taken down very easily. See, what you want to do now is keep building more Ninja Monkeys that increase the attack speed of the this one. So let's keep doing that. And you see here, even at round 69, we're just crushing everyone. We keep getting more money, and we're just hanging out. You want to get really fancy. If you're really getting bored, you can just drop your super monkey right here, just for fun. Upgrade range. Nope. And go to super blast. Keep upgrading your super monkey. See, even at round 74, not even mildly threatened. So we've gotten to a point here where we have 27k we want to use, so let's put Grand Saboteur. Now all the big Moabs coming in will take much more damage. So now that he's set to Grand Saboteur, we're going to set him to Strong and we're going to wait. Let's use the Grand Saboteur and Sabotage and keep getting that. We have 14k we don't really need to use, I could use it, eh. And this is round 80, and we're just going to take this out in a few seconds. Let's just do that. And there you go. Easy as pie. And that's how you beat it on hard. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And have a good one, guys. Bye now.